Here's another crazy mind freak that you can master. It involves three cards. We have two threes and a queen, the lady card in the middle. The idea is to watch that queen. She's a tricky queen. If I take the cards and I place all three cards down, where would you think the queen is? Ah, you say the middle. You see, you're not watching very carefully because in the middle is the ace. The two cards on the outside happen to be, as you know, the two threes. The lady has vanished. Three Card Monty. I don't think it was named mm -hmm. after you, Joe. It was probably before your time. Way before. Probably even before your time, Johnny. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does require just a little preparation before you can practice or perform it. The only thing you have to do is just get any deck of cards. Could be my deck, could be anybody's deck. And just take one card, and you want to cut the card in this fashion. We use the Six of Diamonds. So you want to cut it like this. Once you've done that, you want to take another card, probably two of the same card, like the Queen of Spades and Queen of Clubs, and then you want to tape the Six of di Diamonds to that card in this fashion. Now you want to make sure that you tape it on the inside so that when the flap is closed like this, you don't see the tape. Johnny, I'll hand it over to you okay. from here. Now what you do is simply this. You're going to place that card underneath the flap in line with the top of the card. Place the other queen in front of it so that it's hidden like so. And you grasp the three towards the bottom. So you've created um, the illusion that we have two queens and a six of diamonds in the middle. Correct. So now you instruct the spectator to keep their eye on the six of diamonds. You turn the cards face down. You remove the six, and as uh, apparently the six, actually you're removing the indifferent card, the king of diamonds in this case. And as you do that, you're going to swing the top queen that has the gaff on it to your left, so that when you turn these up, they will appear to be just two queens. As you see, you're covering the gaff. That's and the swing that, move, show the swing that's move. That's the swing move, I'll show it right to the camera in this fashion, like right. so. But of course, it will be done in this position as this card is laid down. Now you can show those two cards. And now what you're going to do is throw those down. And now when they guess that the queen is in the center. The six. The six. Thank the six. you. <laughs> so convincing. Yes, I fooled myself. Yeah, the six. I think the six is in the center. <laughs> then you show, of course, that it's not. Once again, you pick these two cards up. You cover the gaff once again, and you show the two queens. Now, two quick points. If you don't know what a gaff is, basically a gaff is that panel that you're taping on to the card. That's called a gaff. Or a gimmick. Or a gimmick. And the other point that I'd like to make is if you didn't catch something or there's something you don't understand, a lot of times when you watch the actual performance, the performance I just did a moment ago to uh, our spectators, uh, that will be a huge benefit to you. So make sure you watch that as well as this. And together, you should be able to perform a wonderful mind freak. Three card Monty.